First tonight, a Raytown man accused of running an illegal concert venue out of his home, but he argues it's not a big deal. It's just a, a small part that gets blown out of proportion. I'm just having fun with kids. But pictures neighbors shared with us tell a different story. In a story you will only see here, 41 Action News reporter Nick Starling dug deeper to get the whole truth on what went down. Many of the neighbors complained to the city, and then a code enforcement officer came here and told him he's breaking a lot of rules. You can't really tell from the outside of the house, but many people come here and play concerts. Pretty much we keep the drums set up here, and they'll put like a guitar amp or a bass amp over there. This is Bubba guitar Spin's amp. record and flop house. Brian Waters created this place. Basically just to help the bands, help them get, get their start. Waters says he's been holding concerts here for five years, and word of mouth has grown. I had a guy from Germany call me, wanted to do a show here, and he did. Here's what you'd see at a concert here. In a tight space, the band playing up front, and a gathering just in front of them. Upwards of 60 people have been inside. Waters claims he's soundproofed the house. For in here, I try to keep all the windows closed, all the doors closed when the sound's going on. And at street level, it is less than me and you talking right now. But his neighbors argue the music travels well outside his house. It was very loud. It was very crowded. Um, this is a residential area. It's not zoned for entertainment. So the noise was unacceptable. And it's not just a sound that's irritating them. And there was always trash in the yard after these kids left. These are some pictures another neighbor sent us, and you can just see many cars are parked on his yard and into his backyard. The city says he's violated more than just that, including zoning laws, operating a business without a license. There's also fire and safety concerns. Therefore, the city is forcing the music to shut off for now. Just find another location for it, because this neighborhood is not the place for that. I would love to be at a venue, but I can't afford it, you know. <laughs> I mean, Rhapsody. I'm just a poor boy. <laughs> According to the city, Waters was charged with 35 violations over a two month period. Waters still owes $19,000 in court fees and fines. Reporting in Raytown, Nick Starling, 41 Action News.